<sighs> and so now, to address the people who are making comments or who have in the past made comments about bowlers who just should be more professional, meaning they should throw their shot, walk back, sit down, and shut up. Nobody should ever complain. Nobody should ever say a word. Nobody should ever have anything bad to say. Nobody should ever show any emotion ever. These people, in my opinion, are the problem. The people complaining about this. Like, y'all don't realize that Pete Weber and his antics are the reason the PBA is even still alive, right? The PBA would have died if Pete didn't have his antics and draw in a new crowd. Like, you guys realize that no sport can survive without drama, right? Like, why do you think this whole live, you know, the, the whole thing with uh, the PGA and live golf is going on? And for those of you that don't know, it's another organization trying to run events, and the PGA is fining and suspending players for playing in those events. Similar to what the PBA does, if you go and bowl any event when there is a PBA event nearby within a certain amount of miles, like they, it's just the same thing. But they're advertising, they're not advertising, but they're putting it all out there. Like the entire, all the drama is being put out there. All the players are being interviewed, like people talking bad, people talking like, and you're allowed to have an opinion, you know, you can have your opinion that you think people should just walk back and sit down and shut up. But I'm going to tell you you're wrong. I'm going to tell you you're 100% wrong. And for rooting for that, you're rooting for the death of the sport. Now, you want professionalism and all that. That's fine. That's why we have some players who you can look at as professional and stand-up guys. Like Pete's dad was known as the most professional professional. And then you have Pete. You need a good split. You need to have both. You're allowed to have opinions. That's fine. I'm not going to tell you you can't. But I'm going to tell you you're wrong for thinking that all bowlers should be professional and not complain and not show emotion and not just act out because that's boring to watch. Nobody wants to watch. I mean, very few. The minority, the very small crowd wants to watch boring bowling. But if you actually want bowling to thrive, you need drama. You need things to happen. You need Sean Rash out there calling Belmo a bottle B. You need that. And you need people to have the opinion that that's wrong to do, which, whatever, that's fine. But I'm going to come on here and I'm going to tell you that I don't agree with that opinion. Straight up. You know, people that root for robots are wrong. It's like watching the WWF or WWE or whatever it is now and rooting for people to just walk out onto the, into the ring, walk to the middle, shake hands, have a good old tradition, traditional wrestling match, get on the microphone, say how appreciative they are of the opportunity to get to wrestle this person and then walk away. You're rooting for that every single time. That's boring. Nobody wants that. That's why they create drama. That's why, I mean, obviously it's fake, but that's why they do that. That's why they root for it. Like back in the day, like they were telling Pete to act out. And it was just, he was natural at doing it. He saved bowling by doing it, by acting out, by doing all these crazy things. Like that got people talking. The who do you think you are, I am incident got on ESPN, got national exposure. Like, we're in a day and age where the negative actions actually get more exposure. And that's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate, but it is what it is. That's where we're at. And if you want to build viewership, if you want to get people actually watching the sport, so that way it can grow sponsorship and actually have money involved. Because that's the other complaint. Everybody's like, oh, well, nobody watches because there's no money involved. There's no money they can make. Well, what do you want? You got viewership. So that's just not how it's going to work. You can't have money without viewership. Like, you can't have sponsors if nobody's watching. Nobody's going to want to sponsor the PBA if there's nobody watching. And I'm sorry, but a few million people watching each show over the span of a few weeks, I don't know what the numbers are, but that's what it was at one point, it's not enough. 
you know, you, you've got to have 10 million views in the first two times it airs. You get that, and all of a sudden sponsorships will come flying. Okay, well, we can we can get Vaseline to come on in here and, you know, whatever it may be, tampon. I don't really even care at this point what the sponsors are. You can get the sponsors in there as long as you have viewership. And obviously the viewership has grown because of a lot of this stuff. And they did a pretty good job bringing some new sponsors in. Whether they stick around, I don't know. But drama is always good. Like, you look at the USB-C thing, you know, that's that's iffy because it's more of a governing thing. It's not really national news type thing. But you could, uh, you could spin that to be an attraction for people to want to watch things in some way. But it's frustrating, honestly, to hear these people that say, oh, you should be more professional. You should be able to handle any situation. Have you been out there? Have you won any events? Have you made a TV show? Have you bowled in front of thousands and thousands of people? Well, I guess it's not thousands, but have you bowled in front of this many people before? I mean, honestly, have you been in a position to win a PBA title? Because it's completely different. If you haven't actually been in their shoes, if you haven't actually been at a professional event, bowling well, and having people talk behind you, or anything like that? What gives you the right to say what, what they should, how these people should react? Because you watched on TV? It's just like the people that I had somebody comment and say, I was disappointed to see how you know you were complaining, JR, when you were at an event. Like, what do you want me to do? Is that what you're expecting? You expect me to just say nothing? To just throw my shots and call it good? I was watching you and you were complaining. Of course I was complaining. You want me to be happy I'm bowling bad? Like, what do you want me to do? Like, seriously, what am I supposed to do? Just sit down, take my lumps, and call it good? No, no. I'm going to complain about my performance. I'm going to complain about my ball reaction. If a format doesn't fit the way I believe it should be, I'm going to talk about it. And I'm sorry if you don't like that. I don't care if you don't like that. I've made that known from the beginning on this channel. I don't care. I'm going to just, like... 95% of everybody on the PBA tour, they do the same thing. They just don't have the balls to put it out there like I do. Simple as that. I'm going to put it out there for people to see. If you don't like it, don't watch. Sorry. Not sorry. It's just how it is. There's very few people that will actually put themselves out there like I do. So, and I'm willing to take the, the criticism and whatnot, but don't think I'm not going to come back at you. Don't think I'm not going to call you out. Don't think I'm not going to screenshot your comment and then make a complete video about your comment. Don't think I won't do it because I will. So hate me all you want. Think I'm not professional because I get mad at myself and I'm, you know, putting my arms up in the air. Would you rather I put a hole in the wall? Would you rather me throw bowling balls at people? Would you rather me walk back and start calling people names? Like, I just, I don't understand what's wrong with you people who have this opinion that people should be more professional. More professional. I mean, are these guys, I mean, the only thing I would say is if any of these guys after they're done bowling are a dick to fans or dick to people, then sure, then you can have that opinion. You know, if they're going to walk back and not sign an autograph because they bowled bad, like, that's that's ridiculous. And that's something I've never done. That's not... I've had people accuse me of doing that. It's just a straight up lie. You know, anybody that's ever approached me, even during bowling, even when I'm bowling bad, you know, I don't take it out on people. I don't take it out on the, on any of the fans. Even when I'm bowling bad, if they approach me, I'm still going to talk. I'm still going to sign autographs. I'm still going to do those things. You know, I've never had anybody get turned away. So, but if people are doing that, you know, or saying, I don't bother you at your job, you know, you know, just because they're getting ready for the event or they're putting their stuff away after bowling bad. Yeah, that then I would agree. Okay, that's a time you need to be more professional. But during the event, during competition, I don't think anybody has the right to have, that, to be able to say that they should be more professional as in they shouldn't have emotion. They shouldn't be frustrated. They shouldn't be complaining. Like, I just, I don't believe that. And I never will because I watched the PBA almost die and get brought back because of drama. And now I'm watching people complain about the drama, which is probably a good thing, honestly, because it gets more people talking about bowling, which is why I make these videos in the first place. So that way people can talk about bowling. 
Uh, you know how many people have actually come back to bowling because of my videos? I've had many, many, many messages from people that say, start it back bowling again and your videos have helped me. Or I started back bowling again because I saw your videos. Like it just, it, it, I guess it's frustrating to me to hear somebody say, I watched you at an event and it was, I was disappointed to see you get complain and get so frustrated. Like, uh, one day, maybe you'll be in competition and be able to see it and figure it out, but whatever. Anyway, just want to touch on this. Hope you all have a great, fantastic day.